Hey, Donovan here, and I've got a really, really cool video for you guys. I'm literally going to fly through creating an entire campaign. So no messing around, no um, no time wasting. I'm going to fly through this. I'm literally going to fly through this. By the end of this, I want you to completely understand how to create a campaign. In fact, you can pause this video and make this campaign with me, and it will work and will give you some good results for your martial arts score. But let's dive into it. So what is this video actually about? We're going to create some Facebook ads together, some strong Facebook ads together, and I'm going to give you the template to how we generally create our campaigns and how we get such good results. Uh, this video, who is it for? This video is for martial arts school owners mainly, but it will work for gym owners. It will work for anyone really in the fitness business, anyone who wants to do lead generation ads from a specific location. That's who this will work for. As I said, I am going to talk fast because I want to get through this as quickly as possible. I know nowadays we have some very, very short uh, attention spans. So I'm going to try and be as quickly as possible, quick as possible and not waste your time um, and just flow straight through it. If I'm not going quick enough for you though, you can click in the settings button in the bottom left or bottom right corner on YouTube. You can click in the settings button and put it in like times two speed and fly through this and just go a little bit quicker. But I recommend you go in a speed where you can actually hear everything I'm saying and take everything in. So what will you actually get from this? Number one, you'll get direction. You'll get me basically telling you this is what you should click. We should click this because, and I'm just going to go over how this works and how Facebook ads works and how we're going to get the good results that we, that, that we want to get. I'm also going to give you ad creative ideas, but I'm going to go a step further than that. If you look in the description, I've literally put a link to the ad creatives that we are going to use in this video. Don't click there now, wait until we get to the creative section, but you can click that link. You don't need to give me your email address. You don't need to give me your name. You don't need to give me your phone number. I don't want any of that. I literally just want to help you get the results that you desire. So I haven't asked for your email address, haven't asked for your phone number, haven't put it beyond any paywall or anything like that. I'm giving you those ad creatives, just another thing completely free from me to you to try and help you get the results that you want with your martial arts school or your gym when it comes to Facebook advertising. So if you look in the description when we get to the create section, you can have them completely free of charge as well. And then I'm also gonna give you ad copy ideas, but more than that, I'm gonna give you a way where you can get unlimited ad copies moving forward. Some of you may have seen my video before where I went over this, but I'm just gonna quickly go over this as well within this video and just show you how we can create a campaign. How I would create a campaign if I was a martial arts school owner and I had all the knowledge that I have now, how I'd go ahead and create a campaign as quickly as possible for my martial arts school that actually works. Uh, who am I? My name's Donovan. I own a marketing company. We, company. we help martial arts schools grow through Facebook and Instagram advertising. We do some other cool stuff. We've got an acquisition CRM that we use. We've got loads of other cool stuff to ensure that people actually get the results that we tell them they're going to get. But we also do other stuff as well, like branding uh, partnerships with martial arts schools and things like that, and just help their schools stand out more than if they were to just work with the other marketing agencies. Anyway, let's dive straight into this. I'm gonna go over now how we can actually create a campaign that's actually gonna work. So first thing you're gonna need is you're obviously gonna need a Facebook ads uh, manager account. So as you can see here, here, this is my burner account. This is literally what I use to create ads just to show people. So as you can see here, I'm on the Facebook ads manager account. To get to this, you wanna go on Google, type in Facebook ads manager, click on the first one that comes up when it's to do with Facebook, click ads manager and it will take you through to your account. So as you can see, that's where we're at now. First thing you wanna do is you wanna go over to create. We wanna create our first campaign. So the type of campaigns I like to create are lead generation campaigns. We wanna get people's details. We wanna be able to contact them and we wanna be able to convert them into members from there. The other campaigns like traffic, awareness, and things like that, and engagement, that's not really what we're looking for. We want leads, we want people's details so we can follow up with them and convert them. If that worries you and you think, ah, oh, I don't really know how to convert them into a member, it kind of worries me how do I contact them, etc. I will cover that in future videos or you can just reach out to me directly and I can help you with that exact problem. Anyway, let's continue on. So we wanna do a lead generation campaign. As I said, you can speed this up in the bottom left corner. You can put this at like times two speed or something like that, or times one and a half and just speed this up as I am obviously doing this in real time. So as you can see here, we want to name this campaign. So we're going to do a kids campaign. So we're going to do a kids campaign targeting parents. We are going to put the, we don't want this on because we want to be able to control the budget ourselves. And then we're going to go over to the ad set level on there. That's all we're going to change. We're going to leave everything out the exact same as it is. 
We don't want to name the ad set yet. We're going to leave the name as it is. We're going to come back and change that in a moment. For now, you want to just make sure that this is selected as instant forms. That's how we're going to get people's details through the forms. We're not going to get them messaging us. We don't want to do that. We want to get their contact details so we can contact them in the correct way sooner. We want to maximize the number of leads that we want to target. And then at the moment, it's set to the wrong Facebook page. So let me just pause this and change the page. Awesome. So as you can see, I've changed the Facebook page and I've changed it to my Facebook page as opposed to the martial arts school that we were connected to before. And then I want to scroll down, scroll down, and then I want to change the budget. So the budget per day is completely up to you. Personally, I recommend like 10 to 15 pound per day. You want to be spending enough so you can get results quickly enough so you can see which ads are working. Now, we've got two different ways that we can run ads. We can either have one ad set and then we can have three ads underneath. Or we can have an ad set with an ad underneath, an ad set with an ad underneath, and an ad set with another ad underneath. And then that means we can actually control the budget and control how much money Facebook is putting into each ad. But for the sake of this, we're just going to leave it like this. We're going to do it very simply. So I'm going to put it at £15 for the ad set, which means for the three ads that we run, we're going to be spending £15 per day overall. Not £15 per day per ad, £15 per day overall including all the ads. We might spend eight pound on one ad, four pound on another ad, and then a few pound on the other ad to make up the 15. Facebook won't distribute the money equally. It aims to distribute the money in a way that makes sense. It doesn't always do, which is why we need to pay attention to the ads after we launch them. Then as far as the start date's concerned, the start date that we're gonna put is we're gonna put tomorrow. We're gonna start it from tomorrow at 8 a.m. That's what we're gonna go for. Generally, I start campaigns on like a Monday because I find that I find that Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays are a bit more hit and miss. So I feel like starting on a Monday is the best day to get an accurate understanding of how the ads are going to perform. But just for this one, we're going to set the start date as tomorrow. But it's up to you when you want that start date to be. I just recommend that you make sure you set it as the morning so the budget can be spread out across the whole day. Then scrolling down, we want to actually choose the location. So the location we're going to go for is we're going to go for, I'm just going to type in Birmingham because that's where I'm from. Birmingham. Now I'm going to imagine, now you want to find your martial arts school, obviously, but I'm going to imagine that my martial arts school is very close to this warmly golf club because I want to give you an example. So find your martial arts school and then select it on there and then delete the other one. Now, as you can see, we're targeting 16 kilometers away from the martial arts school that I'm pretending that I own. We don't want to be targeting that far. That's way too far to be getting leads. We want to be getting as high quality leads as possible. We don't just want to be aiming for sheer volume. We want to be getting quality leads coming through. So we need to make sure that we set some of these things correctly. So the first thing that I want to change is I want to bring this down to about six kilometers, maybe even lower in some areas. To be honest, that's still quite far out. I'd probably bring that down to five kilometers. In cities, we can have a much lower target area. In towns and things like that, I know you can target further out and still have people travel. Cities, not so much. So I've brought that down to five kilometers. We don't want to be targeting any further than that. So we're going to leave that as five kilometers, which is perfect. Cool. Now, one mistake that a lot of people make is, as we can see, the audience size here is 212,000 to 250,000. That's because this is at living in or recently in this location. We want to change it to just living in this location. We've just knocked about 40,000 people off of this audience size. That's 40,000 people we would have been hitting with our ads that don't live in the location. So we don't want to be doing that at all. So we want to bring that down. We want to make sure it's just on living in this location. That's an expensive mistake I see a lot of people making. Imagine if your martial arts school is near an airport, you'd be hitting every single person who's traveling through your location. We don't want to be doing that. We just want to be hitting people who live within the area of your martial arts school. Cool. Now, as far as age, we want to be targeting parents with this. So I'd say realistically, maybe 22, 23 to like 52, 55, maybe. Um, we want to be fairly broad with our targeting. We don't want to be too specific. So we go quite broad. So I've gone 23 to 55. If you want to bring this a little lower, I'll put it a little higher. It's completely up to you. But I recommend going as broad as you, as you can. Don't go too broad, obviously, but you don't want to just bring it super, super close because you might be missing out on people who genuinely would become leads. Now, you gotta think if you've got a martial arts school and your age range starts at about four, they would have had the kid at 19 to be 23, 
that's more than than reasonable. But if you do want to bring it up a little bit, that's absolutely fine. But you don't want to bring it too high because you, you might just start getting the results that you want. Now, all genders, we want to go for men and women. And I, I personally leave detailed targeting, advantage targeting on because it seems to stop it from going into the learning limited phase. Cool. Everything else you want to leave alone. If you want to change the language to English UK, then you can. I personally don't. Uh, but it's completely up to you if you want to do that. Now, as far as placements, we're going to leave it at Advantage Plus Placements. That means Facebook's going to choose where to show these ads. But bear in mind that you do get charged on impressions. So sometimes we do change this and we just target stories and we just target feeds. But for the sake of ease and sake of understanding, we're going to leave it at Advantage Plus Placements. Now we're going to name the ad set. So we're going to scroll up and we want to target 23 to 55. So 23 to 55. And then we're also going to put that it's five kilometers, which I believe it is. Yeah, five kilometers and men and women. So five kilometers, M and F. So we're targeting male and female. And then we want to put that it's the kids ads as well. So then we, when we look from the campaign level and the ad set level, we can look and we can straight away say that this is the kids ad set that we started uh, before. Cool, now we wanna actually make some ads. We're gonna have to make some creatives for our ads. Now, as I said to you before, we wanna have three different ads that we're running with because we don't know which ones are gonna work. Now, this is a big mistake a lot of martial arts school owners make. They just run with one ad and hope for the best. That's not good enough nowadays. We need to be running two, three, four different creatives and find which ones are grabbing people's attention in the area. Maybe one's a promo video, one's a collage, one's a single image, one's a kid throwing a punch, another kid's one's a kid looking, smiling with a certificate. We want to really have a play around with the sort of creatives that we're running with because we don't know what's going to work until we, we, we find one that does realistically. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over and grab some creatives. Now, as you can see, there's a load of creatives here, collages, single images. Now, all of these are creatives that you guys can use. Now, you can use them. We've made them. Some of them work really, really well. And you guys can use these completely for free. Now, if you want to swap in your own images, which you need to, you can't use our images, um, but you can use the creative style, all you need to do is go ahead and grab one of your pictures on Canva and switch it in and then switch it to the images that you own. So obviously don't use these images. These are images that my videographer got for our clients. So if you do need updated images and your images look terrible, then you can contact us and maybe we can help you out there. But don't use these images, please. Just use the images that you own for your martial arts school, but feel free to switch them in and use these creatives yourself. So you can use this one, you can use this one, you can use this one. You can use this one, just find which ones work for you. But please, as I said, don't use the images. These are some of our clients' images. We, we, we don't want you using these at all. If you do need your own images upgraded, let me know. And I'm sure that's something we can help you with as well. But anyway, so as I said, if you wanna change these into more of your own, just grab pictures and slow them in and they will switch with the images you want. And then all you need to do is download the creative. So what we're gonna use is we're gonna use this creative here, this collage, I think that looks quite nice. We're gonna press download, we're gonna press page one, and then we're gonna press done, and then we're gonna press download. Cool, now we'll scroll down. We also wanna try this one on its own. So what we sometimes notice is in some areas, collages work really, really well. Then in other areas, Images like this, where they don't have any writing on whatsoever, and it's nothing crazy, it's just two kids looking happy, or a kid looking happy, or a kid holding a, um, a board like that, or a certificate. They seem to work really, really well as well. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is we're gonna download page two as well. We're gonna go with this one. It's gonna be our second creative. So we're gonna download this one. So go ahead and make your own creatives and follow along if you want to. At the end of this video, if you copy me, you'll literally have a campaign ready to launch. You can press go, and then you can feed back to me and let me know how it went. Then we can scroll down further. I'm not gonna use this one. It's too similar to the one above. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna use this one. So this one here, it's a little bit different. It's a group image. We can kind of see how that group image performs. We can also, if we wanted to, we could just get rid of this and just try the group image on its own and see if that had a difference compared to the two children on their own. Cool, anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and download page five. 
And that's our three creatives. Now, Canva might feel weird to use at first, which is what we're using right now. But I assure you, Canva gets easier to use the more you use it. So keep playing around with it, keep practicing, and I'm sure it'll get easier and easier for you. So page five, press done, press download. Cool, we're downloading that. Now what we wanna do, go ahead and do now is I wanna drop this image in the ad. So if I go onto the ad, scroll down, scroll down some more, delete this image, press add media, add image, and then what we wanna do is we wanna upload our own images. Cool, open. Wait for these to load up. Cool, right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the first one, which is the college one. We're gonna press college one. We're gonna press next. Now, whenever you set these, you wanna do it in a way that makes sense. So that looks nice and that makes sense. That also looks, and makes, looks nice and makes sense. If it didn't, just set it to original and ignore the warning sign. This one, I'm gonna set it to original and ignore the warning sign because it didn't make sense in the other setting. Then we're gonna press done. It's gonna ask us, well, usually ask us if we wanna optimize it. We do optimize ours because it generally tends to get a better result. So now that we've got the image set, we need an ad copy. So how could we write an ad copy? There's a few different ways we can do that. We can write one from scratch, or this is what I would do if I was a martial arts school learner and I didn't know how to write ad copy myself. We'd go over to Google. I'd go over to chat GPT. Go to Troy Chat GPT. Cool. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to make an ad copy. So my martial arts school that I'm just doing for an example is based in Birmingham. So I'm going to put write me a Facebook ad copy for a martial arts school based in Birmingham. We are offering hold on I didn't mean to press enter <laughs> we are offering first session free and free uniform when they join uh, uh, we are targeting parents for our kid classes classes we're targeting parents for our kid classes and have i put that we are based in birmingham yes we're targeting ad emojis so you want to add emojis to it as well. And then we see what ChatGPT comes up with. Now, ChatGPT might come up with something absolutely terrible, or it might come up with something that we can slightly change, or it might come up with something that's absolutely perfect. So it's come up with, attention parents in Birmingham, want to give your kids a fun and exciting way to build strength and confidence? Come check out our martial arts school. For a limited time, we are offering a free first session for new students, so your child can try it out with no commitment. And when they join, we'll get, even give them a free uniform. Our experienced instructors are passionate about helping kids develop their physical and mental skills through the arts of martial art. For the art of martial arts, don't miss out on the opportunity. Now, what I'm going to ask it to do now is um, write, solve their pain point a little more. So you can kind of play around with this until you actually get an ad copy that you're happy with and just keep playing with it and keep playing with it until you look at it and you're like, yeah, that's the one. Or you can slightly change it to something that fits you more. The point is it gives you a good start off. It gives you a good base. So let me read this now. Parents in Birmingham, we understand that finding the right activity for your child can be a challenge. You want to find something that is fun, engaging, and helps develop their valuable skills. That's why our martial arts school is the perfect fit for your family. Our classes are specifically designed for kids and our experience is trying to the artist environment. Your child will develop strength, coordination, and discipline while also learning important skills like respect and perseverance. We know that trying out a new activity can be a big commitment, which is why we are offering free for kids. 
Porter. Go make the offer clearer and make it easier to read. Awesome. Feel free to read that, but that's what I'm going to go with. I can already tell that is the one I like. So I'm going to press copy on that. Then I'm going to go over to the ads manager and I'm going to paste this into primary text. So it's going to say, attention parents in Birmingham, are you looking for a fun and engaging activity that will help your child build strength, coordination and confidence? I'm going to change it to build strength and confidence. Look no further than our martial arts school. For a limited time, we are offering a free first session and a free uniform when your child joins. This gives your child the chance to experience our classes with no commitment and no extra costs. I'm going to get rid of that part, just so it's a bit shorter. At our martial arts school, your child will learn valuable skills like respect, discipline and perseverance, all while having a blast and making new friends. Give your child the gift of martial arts. Don't miss out on the opportunity to try something new. Now, I like that, but what I would like is I'd like a couple more emojis thrown in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over to ChatGBT. I'm going to start a new chat so it doesn't remember the past stuff. I'm going to copy that in. And then just before, I'm going to put add relevant emojis, emojis to this ad copy. Press enter. It's going to rewrite it again. It's going to add the emojis in as well. If you don't want emojis in, you don't have to. It's up to your brand, obviously. You don't want to go against your own brand. But as you can see, I think that just stands out a little bit more. Now I can go down, copy it, put it back in the ad manager, and then we've got a few decent relevant emojis to go along with the ad copy. So feel free to pause this and have a little read. Now what we can do now is we can write a headline that intrigues people, or we can go back to ChatGPT and we can say, write me five headlines make parents curious based on this ad copy enter transform your child's confidence and strength with our martial arts classes discover the secret to your child's success in in martial arts today i quite like that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and copy that Go back over to the ad manager and then I'm going to paste it in the headline. So discover the secret to your child's success. So I've gone ahead and copied that. And that is what we are going to go with. So as you can see, it says tension in parents in Birmingham. Are you looking for a fun, engaging activity that will help your child build? They're going to press see more. They're going to read the rest of it. And it also says at the bottom, discover the secret to your child's success. I really, really like that. So what we want now is we just want to add a lead form in and then we're almost done. It's just a matter of duplicating, changing the images and we've got our first campaign ready to go. So as I said to you, if you want the creative, um, the, the copy to that, that's going to be in the description. So if you go to the description, you're going to have that completely free. You're going to be able to copy your images in there instead. As I said, please, 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 please don't use the images that are already in there because they're my client's images that we've used, that they've, they've taken from our videography days. So please don't, don't use them. If you do want to upgrade your own content and have your own strong content, just get in touch, man, and we, we can help you out with that. Cool. Anyway, I've actually made a lead form already before. All you want to do is you want to click create form and then you want to go through and then literally if you want to you can add additional questions so let's imagine that we only had classes on wednesday at 6 p.m friday at 6 p.m saturday 10 30 a.m we can ask which one works best for them on the form so we can stop getting leads through that just aren't right for the classes or just hasn't can't make those classes so if you've only got two or three classes or one or two classes that that you're open to having new students for then why not ask that on the lead form, which one of those they can make. And then if they can't make any of them, then they were never going to become a member. <laughs> so that, that's something you can do. And then the next part, you're obviously going to ask, um, the, you're going to ask for their name, email address, and phone number. And then the privacy policy, you want to put your privacy policy in. And then underneath that, you also want to get them to view your website and then press publish after all that. 
and then you'll have a lead form. So as you can see, this is our lead form that we're going to be going with. Now, all of the ads are going to be the exact same. The copy is going to be the same. Headline is going to be the same. Everything's going to be the same about them apart from the creative. So all we need to do now, we're almost done. We're almost there. Don't worry. You want to press quickly duplicate. You want to duplicate this ad. It's going to make an ad that's the exact same. You want to go ahead and go up, remove those images, press add image. You want to click this image, make it fit, make it make sense. I think this looks quite nice. Press done. And then that's our second ad done. Everything else will be the exact same when it comes to that ad. Then we want to press duplicate again. That's going to take us through to here. And then we want to click the bin icon, remove all, add media. And then we want to add in the third creative. And to be honest, I think this creative looks quite nice. I don't think we've tried one like this before. Um, I think this is quite a new style. But you'll have to go ahead and try that. So what we generally tend to do is we'll try a collage, we'll try a single image. And then if there's a video or something, we'll try a video as well. So we're trying three different media types. And, and that usually gives us some pretty decent results. And then what we'll do is we'll press publish. Now, after a few days, the best performing ad, if there's one that just stands out better than all the others, we leave that one on and we turn off all the other ones. But that's exactly how to create your first campaign. You know what? I'm going to take it one step further. So once you press publish, what's going to happen is it's going to take you through to here and you're going to be able to look at your campaigns and they're going to be in a review stage. I don't want you to just start these ads and not understand what you're looking at. So I'm going to quickly go over super quick what, what we look at. So as you can see, we've got this campaign here. If you highlight here, you can look at the ad set so we can see the kids ad set. If we go further down, we can now see all the three ads. So you might be thinking, how do I know which ad is performing the best? Simply put, we can see how much money we've spent on the ads. And we also want to pay attention to how much it's costing us for each result. So this ad might get more leads than all the others, but we might look over here and it might be, it, it might have spent loads more money to get more leads. So just because one has got all the leads doesn't mean that one's the best performer because the others might just not have had enough budget put into them to see if they are going to perform well. So make sure you don't turn things off too quickly. Another way that we can also see if ads are going to perform well is we can look at something called the cost per click and the CPM. So if we go ahead and do those, uh, the cost per click and the CPM. Cost per click will tell you how much it's costing for people to click on the ad, and the CPM is just how much it costs to advertise in your area. But the main one you want to pay attention to is your cost per click. So if this ad has all the leads, but its cost per click is like 70p, 60p, but then this ad down here hasn't spent much money, but its cost per click is like 10p, that means people are clicking on this ad at much quicker rates, and people like a click, more people are clicking on this ad basically. So don't turn this one off because just it, the reason it hasn't got all the leads yet is because it hasn't, Facebook hasn't given it the opportunity and started spending enough money with it. So don't turn off ads too quickly. Pay attention to how much each one has spent. And then if you see one that's just performing really, really badly, that's when you turn it off. But I hope that has helped. Um, I know I've gone through it really, really quickly. Covered it, the creatives, covered the ad copies, how I would write ad copies if I was a martial arts school owner, the lazy, the quickest way to do it, um, but can also still get you some really, really good ad copy rather than you trying to write it yourself. Um, and then, yeah, the, the campaign build out. It's very simple, very, very, very simple. Um, my goal, as, as I've said before, my goal is to make it unreasonable for you to not succeed when it comes to Facebook advertising. I genuinely want to help you. So if you keep watching my videos, you like, you subscribe, you just pay attention to all the stuff that I'm putting out, whether that's on Facebook, wherever that is, I think you're going to have a very, very good year when it comes to advertising. My name's Donovan. I hope you've really, really enjoyed the video. It would mean the world to me if you click like, you click subscribe, um, and you just continue to pay attention to what we're doing on the channel. I really want to help you as much as possible. Thank you.